What is up guys? Um Sinistra here and uh today we are going to be looking at um something I built, but I want to start this as a new series and a challenge to you guys because um I want to start an architecture series. Uh now a uh, little bit digging into my past real quick. Um when I originally went to college, I uh was going for architecture and then you know people who know me know that I changed my major to graphic design and um or graphic design and animation which i mean i should have a lot more animations in this build and i didn't really think about it but anyway uh so what i want to do is kind of dig back into those roots and um and it doesn't have to be just scrap mechanic but uh and this is important that you join the discord server so i can actually see all this stuff but uh i i want to see what you guys can do and then also to give a little bit of inspiration from what I'm about to show you guys. Um, but yeah, so, you know, without further ado, let's let's get into this. And um, so behind me, uh, yes, we are in the trader uh, and you do see that the pond I cemented off Oh, a little glimpse. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to turn around and um, by the way, dev controls are on. Just a disclaimer, like I did not do any of this in survival, so don't give me that credit. <laughs> All right, so in about five seconds, I'm going to show you the house that I made. So in five, four, three, two, one, and turn around. So pretty much uh, I went with like, like a kind of like a modern, like, you know, it was a modern home. Um, And then from like, you know, we're just going to take a look at the outside first. But uh, yeah, so we got that um, a nice like side drive right here. And I didn't really paint it because I was like, I don't really see fit for paint, especially like there's no road going to like out there. I could make one, but then that's just going to make everything laggy. Um, but on that note, so we'll, we'll get through the outside first and then um, we'll go through the inside and maybe we'll check this out to next. But yeah, so. You know the front is the front um you know there's not really much there uh besides for you know the pretty look but uh yeah in the back so i decided to you know have a pool because this is over the pond so i made a little pool cover that has thin on it which is pretty you know my touch but uh yeah so this is just kind of like reusing the water from the pond to make a pool that is fully swimmable I think that's really cool and then also too um i made a like a, a, a fail attempt at making a file or a diving board this kind of just does that i kind of wanted it to flicker but you know that's fine uh but yeah so that's the pool and then you know we got a little like table area where we can sit and talk um and yeah so we're gonna put the cover back onto the pool but just by doing that it's super nice and then also you can walk on it now and be super stable um so yeah so we got that and then we got what did that switch do i completely forgot oh yeah we also had lights in the pool <laughs> um so yeah now we got lights out here and then we got an awning for when you know it gets a little too sunny or if it rains which rain isn't implemented in scrap mechanic and I don't think it will be but I don't know you know by the time this video is um you know pretty old probably in another like couple of years because we all know how scrap mechanic likes to take the time um <laughs> which is a joke and I, I, I know you guys worked really hard on putting all this stuff together and I'm just abusing it by having death commands on. But, um, yeah, so uh, before we go inside, let's go check out the garage real quick. So I just used some, like, industrial lights, and I got some, like, you know, natural lighting too. But, yeah, I mean, there's really not much going on here. I have a lift that I was, like, screwing around with, you know, just to put, like, a car on so we can get under it. Kind of, like, role play with it a little bit, but... I don't think a car is going to be able to get on here and I haven't made a car yet to um, really put onto this. 
So I kind of improvised that. On honestly, I'll probably just delete it, or it'll just stay like a fancy. That'll be an animation. I don't know yet. Um, and then in here we got a little pool toy that actually floats. You know, surprisingly for how heavy the um, toilet seat is. But yeah, so uh, that's this is the garage, and then uh, probably my pride and joy is making this garage door. It's so satisfying. And it just flattens out, and then boom. All right, so um, and also make gates. So that's sick. Um, in both sides too, because there's a lot of space over here. Um, all right, so real quick, uh, we'll show you the bathroom from the outside. Uh, you know, just like a, it, it leads to the inside. We're not gonna go through that door yet, but um, yeah. So that's just like the easy bathroom. Um, and then we got a sliding glass door and then this is going to be the inside, like the inside main floor. We have an upstairs and main floor. So just two floors. Um, so this is the kitchen. Um, I got a little island with a sink and then a sink on there. Uh, and then the stove that doesn't really look like a stove, but I just wanted to add the, um, little animation. That's, I think that's really cool. You know when it closes the light turns on it's like preheating but the problem is, is that it's always preheating so there's a there's a chance that it can blow up at any moment and then here we got the fridge uh that has nothing in it yet but um there's really no need for food when you can do slash god so i don't know maybe maybe i'll make this a survival series and you know just live here but like have this like pre-built base i don't know yet but uh anyways this is the living room um, there's a lot of empty space here because I don't know what to do with this space yet. But, uh, yeah, so we got a, uh, kind of working TV. It just has a light in there, but it's supposed to show a TV. Um, yeah, and then we got the other entrance to the, this, the outdoor bathroom or outdoor main door bathroom. Um, all right. And then over here, we have like a secret door, but it's like the, like a linen closet, you know, like, a like Harry Potter's room with lights you can close it you can condone like secret meetings or you know have a little dwarf that just lives in here I don't know yet um, <laughs> all right so that goes with the main floor um and then we got and then, and then this is cool we got lights for the stairway and then we can turn those off and then we turn these lights on and then up here is the second floor. So uh, before we go into the room, I'll show you guys the bathroom. You know, it's like a just a normal bathroom. Um, the cool thing is, is that, you know, you got this and then we got a light up there, you know, for people who like relaxing in the bathroom. You know, this is, this is cool. I might make a door right there. So it's kind of more inclusive, but I don't know yet. Um, yeah, so, ooh, ooh. Then we got our toilet with the toilet paper. And then our sink with the, the disgusting mirror. And we got lights too for everything. Um, All right, so yeah, that was the bathroom. So let's uh, let's move to the bedroom. Uh, and again, I don't know what to do with majority of this space. Um, just because there's not a lot of stuff that goes into a bedroom, but just to make this floor seem more like an upstairs to a house, I kind of had to make it this big. Um, but yeah, so you know, there's a nice, there's a bunch of cool things. Uh, I have a fan. You excited yet? And then I got lights. And then um, if you look, notice over here, you know, the little indent secret room. Nah, it's just a closet dress spot in it so you can you know get dressed see all your all your stuff um in reality i might just block him off eventually eventually it'll come to that i don't know but um yeah and then we got a window looking out um all right so let's uh 
Let's go on to the balcony real quick. There's nothing really special out here. I mean, it's really cool. It got, you got the, the lights to turn on. You can see your backyard, which is really nice. Um, it kind of just adds to the aesthetic, you know? It's, it's really cool. Um, all right, and then there's one more thing. Uh, we're going to the roof. Roof, roof, roof. But yeah, so that drops down. Oh, uh, that's what happens when I make it too small. But this is fine. Um, bring that up. Let's see. And then here we are, on the roof. Um, I wanted to make sure that this was hidden, so like you can't like see it from the ground at all, unless you go up in the air. Um, but uh, yeah. So. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this um and if this is something that you want to see me continue to do uh personally i love building stuff again like i was a architect major when i first joined or first went to college um but then i realized how much schooling that was and then that wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna do it for me so i changed my graphic so i trained cha the, 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 uh i changed to um graphic design because that honestly is it's a lot nicer but uh but yeah anyway so if you guys want to participate in any of these you know make a video and upload it to youtube and then join my discord server and pop it in there um so if you guys enjoy this you know make sure you leave a like it shows that i can continue doing this because people will like it um and uh, also if you haven't yet subscribe because that's a great thing um, part of me is also still recovering from last week's video. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, um... Yeah, so on that note, I will talk to you guys later. Um, it was gonna be a short video today, short and sweet, but I just wanted to get something out this week. Um, and I... I will love if people jump on board with this. So uh, on that note, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.